the system or to turn it off, to leave it running, and then just look to it for historical data in the event that uh, a crime occurs or there's some type of incident that someone wants to see that particular video. Um, we can also leave it running and monitor it for specific events, say there's a, a large event in Curtis Six and Park, something along those lines, or we could monitor it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which obviously would be very uh, personal and intensive and, and costly in that aspect. The cameras, there are 119 cameras total. There's 25 that are on the police department inside and outside for security. They're replaced on an antiquated system that we have there, and we don't anticipate any movement on those. There are 16 cameras that are on five mobile uh, camera systems that can be put wherever, wherever we would uh, like. And those are the ones, just to give you a visual, if you see up on the interstate, those orange uh, trailers, and with the camera systems up in the air, in essence, that's what those five, five mobiles uh, consist of. There's 78 remaining cameras in the downtown area, and there are uh, 20 fixed, and there's 50 that have the pan, tilt, and zoom, and those have to be uh, um, manually operated uh, by the officers. Now, I'll show you uh, crime maps for the month of May, June, and July preceding the RNC and just show you some of the crimes that occurred that could have been captured on camera and we could have used those cameras in that particular, uh, those particular instances. That's for uh, the month of May. And the, just to give you an idea, the, um, the majority of the, the crimes are in the circles and um, the, uh, the um, diamond shaped is all larceny, and those are usually the, the petty crimes, misdemeanors, someone stole a bike, someone stole a cell phone, those types of, of crimes, and that's the vast majority of what you see in the downtown area. There is, uh, in a couple of these maps, there are very few uh, robberies, and then there's uh, one of them has an auto theft in it. Which, if I could brag a little bit, during the three months, there was only one auto theft in the downtown area. Councilman Braddock, I see the Chief, the, the blue dots, are those indicating those cameras? The blue, blue dots, dots are the cameras, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. And I can make these uh, maps available, too. And so those are, those are the crimes. As you can see, the downtown area doesn't have a lot of, of uh, criminal activity in it, but those are the crimes that occurred within camera view. All right, the maintenance contract, $164,000 a year. That's approximately 9% of the cost of the system. The um, uh, average industry standard is 15%. So it's a little bit lower than the, uh, the industry standard for any kind of a, a technology solution. We could reduce that or eliminate that by doing it in-house. But um, you know that that can be a great savings, or it can be a cost depending on what needs to be done during that year. So that's something that can be explored uh, in depth. And then there's an additional twenty-one thousand uh, dollar license fee that's paid, and that that has to be paid each year. Cost of moving these cameras: there are three elements to the camera. There's the the camera, there's the radio, and there's the antenna. And um, the fixed cameras are relatively inexpensive. They're about uh, $500 a piece. And then for the pan tilt zoom, those are about $5,000 a piece. About $3,000 for electrical hookups with these. And then if you want to put them on a pole that's not a, existent, that can be up to uh, $10,000 um, for that cost. Uh, excuse me one second, she's got council in Chief, if you're giving us those, that breakdown of the cost, is that all included in your $164,000 a year? Or is that a big no, no, that's No, that's the maintenance cost. So what I'm telling you, what I'm trying to give you are prices in the event that you want these cameras moved somewhere or if we want to oh. put additional cameras up. The, that, would, that would basically be right, would be the, um, the price of it. Now, if you really, uh, as you're speaking, it's really difficult for us to write down all these costs and what they're for. And I can say, you know, Councilman Mohar and Councilman Reddick, I mean, we're furiously trying to write this stuff down. Do you have this on a piece of paper printed so that we can, we don't have to sit here and sure. add things up and look at yes. numbers? And, and I'll make it available to you. 
Well, I do have all my notes. <laughs> um, well, is there oh, anything can, one of our assistants? Yes, I can give you. Answer. I can give you the the over overarching prices as well. Like for example, if we well, want. Well, why I'm asking for it now is because I, I don't know about the rest of us, um, but you know, I'm not looking forward to bringing this back once again and talking about it again. So if we have it now, we can look at it now. We can discuss it now rather than you giving it to us and then we see something that we want you to come back and talk about it another day. So, I mean, we can have when the aides come up, get okay. your notes, if you have them, them out, just make, make, make a copy. Sure, you can have them come up and make a, a yeah. copy and I can give you that. Great, thank you so much. That would be very helpful.